everyone eats. And so food, I think, is so unique in terms of a research concept and how we can help not only people locally, but globally. Food composition, food security, the culinary aspects of food, but also how does food contribute to health. Research opportunities can run that whole gamut. We have individuals throughout the university, the Doisy College of Health Sciences, but also in arts and sciences, public health and social justice, everything from seed to table. How do we put all those individuals together, I think, can make make us a dynamic place to, to not only study, but to um, conduct your research as well. Agriculture is the world's largest and most rapidly expanding ecosystem, and it is the leading driver of biodiversity loss. The challenge that we face is how we can continue to feed people in an equitable manner that is sustainable. My research lab focuses on perennial plant diversity and evolution. We've been working closely with the Land Institute to try to identify wild perennial species for crop development. A specific example is called Kernza, which some of our colleagues are working to develop into a perennial wheat alternative that makes not only the product that we can harvest and then use to make flour and bake bread, but also this extensive root system that can hold and preserve our soil. One of the benefits of being in a place like St. Louis is that we can connect the resources of the university with the resources of the Missouri Botanical Garden and the Danforth Plant Science Center to try to forge new paths forward to meet these challenges. I knew I wanted to be in an institution that had a bigger mission, really knowledge and action. St. Louis is a place where there's a lot of opportunity. Some of the data shows that one in four kids lives in a home that's food insecure. And food insecure means that there's not enough food in the home for all members to live an active and a healthy lifestyle. I have partners at Donnie Pediatrics. We're screening for things like food insecurity. We connect them with a student to help partner with them to look for resources. And then we're looking at, do they come to well child visits more often? Nationally, folks are recognizing the importance of screening for food insecurity. The work that we're doing here is adding evidence to what's working in clinical settings around integrating food need. We have so many young students coming up who want to be part of the solution and they want to be part of making progress. I think that that's really where the hope lies. My work so far has been dedicated to the social history of the Renaissance. The early modern period gives us a lot of insight about the world becoming global. We can retrace the genealogy of the modern states in order maybe to reform, to challenge modern politics. Food products were also circulating with these ideas that were circulating across the early modern world. Foods were used for political purposes, not only as gift, but also as a symbol for example, the idea of sweetness. There was an opportunity to trace through this political history of citruses an history of political tolerance. Food history, for me, it's a prism to look at different social issues in the past, mainly. Food system, food security. Students afterward uh, are able to bring more complexity in their understanding of human relationship. Two most important things we do here are uh, the discovery and dissemination of knowledge. You know, St. Louis is an agriculture hub. We have an opportunity around food, food production, food research in ways that maybe other cities can't leverage. At St. Louis University, I receive support for my teaching and my research, and I can really merge the two together. You can have a mission, but it's the people who are carrying out that mission on a day to day basis doing research that seems to matter. Through a range of different types of studies in different disciplines, this institution can make a difference in how we eat and the impacts of our food systems on the planet and on our city.